St. Petersburg was founded in 1703 by Tsar Peter the Great and served as the capital of the Russian Empire for over 200 years until the October Revolution of 1917. The city, which has been known as both Petrograd and Leningrad, has played a vital role in Russian history. As a nod to its past, it's sometimes known as Russia's northern capital. The city's rivalry with Moscow doesn't rest solely with economics or politics. Teams from Moscow have traditionally dominated the football landscape, but lately the rise to prominence of Zenit St. Petersburg has challenged the status quo. I think people could argue whether or not Zenit is the most popular team in Russia, but in St. Petersburg there is no debate. It's the only team that has a following here, and every youngster dreams of making the first team. Football in Russia plays a big role in people's lives, and they're interested in how their team performs. I think the majority of Russians, not only in St. Petersburg, but across the country, are proud of Zenit's success, and they support us, especially when we play in Europe. Thanks to a lucrative sponsorship deal with the country's largest company, Gazprom, Zenit is now Russia's richest club. This investment has allowed them to grow in stature and dispel the image of it being a so-called small club. They've lifted the domestic league title in three of the last five seasons, but arguably the club's finest hour came in 2008 when they won their maiden continental title, the UEFA Cup. That year we played with a good team spirit and positive outlook. We couldn't believe it when we made it to the final. And then of course to win it made everyone very happy. I think it wasn't just the players and the coaching staff who celebrated that victory, but the whole of Russia too. The club secured their fourth Russian Premier League title last season. As Zenit prepares to celebrate its 90th anniversary, it faces a very modern challenge to its eminence. With a distinctly international pool of players, new league rules limiting the number of foreign players on the field to six affect the club more than most. To cope, Zenit has signed a number of up-and-coming local players while retaining key members of the squad, including last season's top scorer, Hulk. This season is a historic one for Zenit, and we want to do the club, the backroom staff and the fans proud. The fact we are defending champions only motivates us more to retain our title. Sure, it won't be easy, but we'll fight all the way. We have a strong team and it's up to us to show what we are capable of. There's no doubt that Zenit will be able to rely on their enthusiastic fan base this season. Being the only Premier League club in St. Petersburg guarantees that every game at the Petrovsky Stadium is a sellout. The season has already begun well as Zenit secured their third Super Cup by defeating Lokomotiv Moscow. With Champions League football to look forward to as well this campaign, there's every chance that Zenit St. Petersburg's very own Russian revolution will continue well into the future.